Hi, this is Peter King. Welcome to One on One with Peter King, presented by the new windows. Very fortunate this week to be joined by defensive tackle Gerald McCoy of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's coming off one of his best games as a pro, a three-sack performance for the Bucs uh, in a win on Sunday. Tell me, what, what has the attitude been like? Say, let's go back three weeks, back mm -hmm. to before the Seattle game. I think the outside world looked at your team and thought that it basically said, well, okay, enough for this year, maybe even enough for this coach. What was it like inside the locker room? Um, well, inside the locker room, there, there, there never was any of that. Um, there always was the, the want to, to get that feeling back of what it feels like to get a W after, after putting in all that work and going out and giving it all you got and going into the locker room with a win. So everybody's mindset was, we're not going to stop fighting. We're not going to lose focus. We're going to keep pushing until we get that feeling back. And that feeling is uh, what it feels like to get a win after putting in all that work. It, it had to be particularly pleasing to you guys to handle Atlanta the way you did this past Sunday because obviously Atlanta in the NFC Championship game last year, they were the king of your division. They've obviously had a bad year this year, but what was the feeling like on your sideline this past Sunday? Well, we knew we owed Atlanta. You know, we went up there, had an opportunity to win there as well, and, you know, uh, they, got a, they got a good win on us. Uh, division opponent. You never want to go 0-2 against a division opponent, so we knew we owed them. They were coming in our house, and uh, Coach issued a challenge to us. He said, you know, are you going to have the Monday night football hangover and come out and kind of feel your way through the first part of the game, or are you going to come out on fire? You're going to come out storming and, you know, uh, build off the momentum you set on Monday night, and we were able to do that. You mentioned Greg Schiano. You know, obviously there's been a lot of speculation in the outside world anyway about his job and whether he's going to survive. What's it been like to play for him the last couple of years? Uh, Coach Giano, man, he's great. Uh, I think he gets a bad rap for a lot of the things he does, man. He's a, he's a, a, a player's coach. And um, the, the best thing about Coach is his, his door is always open, you know, and he, he allows us as players to come in knock on his door and offer up any suggestions we have. And he'll actually sit and listen and be receptive to the things we have to say. And I mean, that's hard. That's hard to get in this league. Um, you know, a lot of coaches is, is you do it their way and that's it. But um, he's, he's openly said that he's learned more from the players than he's learned from any coach since he's been coaching because we're the guys out there. We're the ones that have to be comfortable with the system. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he's willing to hear anything that we have to say. And I don't think you can beat that. You've had really a terrific year. I know that uh, at our website, the MMQB, that we've given you a lot of praise for how you've played and how you've been able to get penetration uh, on the interior of your defensive line this year. What do you attribute how well you've played this year to? <laughs> Um, well, when this, when this season started, uh, one thing I was asked is what, what, what do you want to get out of this season after making the Pro Bowl last season? And I said, I don't want anything special. I just don't want to remain stagnant or go backwards. I want to keep moving forward and keep improving. And I think I've been able to do that just with my knowledge of the game, knowing what I'm seeing. And, uh, one thing Sap told me is that, um, my physicality level has to go up. And I think I've been able to do that this year with, um, you know, how I'm penetrating and, and getting off blocks. And he said, I don't have to be mean, but it needs to look like I'm being mean on the field with how physical I'm playing. You know, he was a, he was that type of player. And he says, uh, because I'm so nice off the field, he said, I just need to be less nice on the field. And um, I think I'm not a noise talker. I'm not a, you know, a shove guy, I'm not, I just, I go hard in between the whistles and then I'm, you know, I'll wait until the next play. That's just me. Gerald, I remember meeting you at the scouting combine a few years right. ago. And, and after we met, I think we met in the lobby of the, of the Omni Hotel there in Indianapolis. We talked right. for about a half hour. And I remember your agent said, so, hey, what, what, what'd you think? And I said, uh, God, he's such a nice guy. 
Right. I said, I said, is that going to translate to the field? Well, he said, well, it has so far in college. And uh, I would imagine that it's got to be tough sometimes to turn that switch on a little bit, is it? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm going I'm going to give it everything I have regardless. Re regardless of what happens, I'm going to give it everything I have. I was raised to be a leader and and leaders they 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 separate themselves from people and um, you know, so with this being the game I love and my passion, I don't think it should be hard to turn this switch on. You know, I just I don't feel like I have to be a you know, an angry guy you know, to play hard and to be physical because on game day, if anybody knows me, they know I'm always cracking jokes. I'm always smiling, laughing, having a good time. But as soon as the whistle blows or as soon as that ball is snapped, I turn into a different guy, you know? So um, that's just me. Jared, listen, really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks for joining us at the MMQB. Continued success. And uh, maybe you'll end up proving that nice guys can finish first. All right. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Take care. All right. Our thanks to Gerald McCoy and thanks to you for watching One on One with Peter King, presented by the new Windows.